According to Bank of America's March Fund Manager Survey, cash reserves hit their highest level since the onset of the pandemic two years ago. Growth optimism dropped to its lowest level since July of 2008. A majority of managers are now expecting inflation to be permanent as well. But my next guest says he's still getting a little more bullish from here. Let's welcome in David Katz. He's the chief investment officer at Matrix Asset Advisors. David, just to be clear, do you think we're going into a global recession? We do not believe we're going into a global recession. We do think we'll probably have a temporary global slowdown. The U.S. economy is going to buck that and still be pretty good. But we think if you go back to that survey, the sentiment is negative across the board. If you look at it historically, a lot of times when you get this negative, it's closer to a turning point. So we look at it as a contrary indicator. All of this cash, all of this significant concerns about inflation, acting as if it's going to be here forever. Uh, we think that a lot of these things are shorter term in nature. And we think if you have a nine to 12 month time horizon, this is a very good opportunity to be putting money to work in the stock market. Yeah, you say we think there are a lot of great and in all capital letters, great buys here. So would love to know what are the ones for you that come to mind where you think people can start buying at these levels? So we would have a barbell of some very uh, beaten down growth stocks and then some value stocks. On the growth side, we like Google, Microsoft, PayPal has been uh, killed. It's down from 300 to 100. It's at 17 and a half times next year's earnings. We think that's a great uh, price for a growth company. On the value side, we like things like Goldman Sachs, Qualcomm, TE Connectivity and Zimmer. All of them are really good companies, good long term prospects selling at 15 to 17 times earnings. Generally, if you can buy a really good company at that price, you're going to do well. The key is uh, try not to look at them over the next two weeks, next mm -hmm. month. But we do think six to 12 months uh, down the road, you're going to be very happy that you bought each of these. Although it is, you know, you're not an economist, but it's worth pointing out that your view is predicated on a view that we keep growing. The inflation problem is not as bad as feared. You almost have the Goldilocks view versus a stagflation view that has people right now getting spooked out of the stock market. You can always sound a lot smarter sounding very negative because there are lots of things out there that, that really concern us. But we generally think we're going to muddle through it. Uh, we were concerned about inflation about six months before everybody else was. We were speaking with a lot of companies, a lot of consumer product companies that had identified it as a big problem last January, February, March. So uh, 18 months ago, uh, we think that there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. And by late summer, early fall, inflation is going to be trending lower, probably back to the four or five percent level. And by year end, under 4%. So we think it's manageable. The economy is going to slow down, but it's going to be slowing down from a very robust pace. It's still going to be very healthy. The companies that we're talking to are talking about a very good outlook for their earnings over the next 12 and 24 months. What would you do with energy here? So we've been wrong on energy a few different times. So uh, it wouldn't you read and everybody. too much into our yeah. insight. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've had energy. Uh, we sold our Chevron a little bit early uh, earlier this year, but, you know, made a very good deal of money on it. We'd say from here on energy, we think there's a good likelihood that 12 months down the road, energy prices are going to be meaningfully lower. We think energy stocks probably are going to have a, uh, a short-term peak about a week or two weeks ago. Uh, if you look at Exxon, it's it, a... Let's see, the last time it was this high was 2014. So we think if you look out six or 12 months, Exxon's going to be lower than it is today. Chevron is the best in the oil patch, but we think that it's fully priced here. Uh, so we think there are lots of places to make a lot of money in the market. We think probably the commodities uh, and the oil companies at the higher end of their trading range. So uh, not today, but into strength when you have another melt up, when energy prices melt up, we'd be taking profits from there and redeploying it into other areas of yeah, the market. I